Hello everybody, my name is Dave and here is a brief description of my home solar system. Uh, the outfit starts right up there. Here's where your money is. We've got two 80 watt panels. Uh, each panel is 80 watts that comes in at 5.3 amps at peak. So together, you know, you're rolling in at 10 amps on a good juicy day. Wires come in through the roof, through the wall and directly down into the disconnect box. Basically that just disconnects the solar panels from the system. Uh, juice comes down from there and directly into the charge controller. This is a sky blue charge controller with MPPT tracking. That's maximum power point tracking. If you're going to get a charge controller, I highly suggest that. Very efficient little unit. It costs about 180 bucks. Uh, this action here is just a monitor. That's just a, that's basically given me every piece of information I could ask for out of it. Like right now, I'm coming in at, uh, my current voltage right now is 13 and a half. Uh, current amps coming in is 8.2 amps coming in. My battery is currently 94% charged. It gets better than that. Check it out. This is amp hours from full. Currently, as you can see, I'm 22 amp hours uh, from being completely filled. As this juice comes in, that number obviously drops until it's down to zero. Nice thing to have. This is a days since charged option. As you can see, it's almost been a full day since she was topped off. It's a nice thing to know. Days since equalized. It's been about almost nine days since I had it hooked up to the uh, the grid to turbocharge it, so to speak, called equalizing. He recommends you do that once every couple months anyway. This is current, or I should say total amp hours that I have sucked out of those batteries. Uh, right now, 306, pretty simple. As life goes on and you keep sucking juice out of your batteries, this will monitor uh, the life of your batteries, basically. This is a, the highest voltage that this uh, system has reached since I reset it uh, days ago, obviously. 14.3 uh, is my highest. The lowest it's dropped down is 12.1 volts. It's a nice thing to know. Okay, so that's that. Beautiful to have. It's the Trimetric 2020. It's about 160 bucks. Might sound a little pricey, but you're going to want all that information to maximize your efficiency factor. So you can get every, you know, little nugget out of it you can. All right. <clears throat> Check it. Comes out of the the sky blue charge controller and down into my bank. This bank consists of four 6 volt batteries, two each wired together in series to create a 12 volt battery basically. Uh, each battery at 6 volts is 220 amp hours at 6 volts. You wire two of them together and now you've got uh, 12 volts at 220 amp hours. So I've got a total of 440 amp hours all day long in my bank. The juice then comes from your bank up into the inverter. This is a 1000 watt inverter. Does the job, runs almost everything I need it to run, except my vacuum. For some reason it doesn't boot that up. I'd like to get a little tougher, a little beefier one of those. Two outlets. One outlet runs from this extension cord down the way into the living area, into the living room. I run lights, a 19 inch television, a fan, uh, a little of this and that. And I've also got a, the other wire runs right around the corner into my kitchen. And off of this power strip, I run kitchen lights, bedroom lights, coffee maker, microwave, blender, uh, you know, whatever else you want to run in the kitchen. Up here, yonder way, I've got a 2 amp die hard battery charger. Uh, so I can charge the system from a grid in case I run into a series of cloudy days. Uh, not charging me up, so that's right there just in case I need to, uh, you know, I just keep the alligator clips close, clip them on. Pretty simple. This little unit that you see right here, this came, uh, this is actually part of the Trimetric 2020. It's uh, the, actually measures the voltage 
uh, that goes through this. It's called a shunt. Anyway, you'll need that if you get the Trimetric 2020. That monitors all your stuff. Uh, I believe that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers the, uh, the system. So uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, post them on up. Throw me some comments, whatever works.